Hey guys, it's Tech Genie back again with another video. So if you're new here, don't forget to head over to our Blog Brothers channel and subscribe over there because we do do vlogs and montages and stuff over there, so that'd be really cool. So in this video, we're just going to show you, take you through the website called Photojet, which basically shows you how to make collages or YouTube banners and stuff, which is really cool. So without any further ado, let's just get straight into the video. Okay, so I'm just going to take you into the website now. So if we just open up Safari here. So this is what the website kind of looks like. So you can do lots of different things. So you can make photo collages, for free, you can like log in, sign up, and you can get more features, but I'll talk to you a little bit about that when we're actually within the website designing something. So you, as you can see, you can do photo cards, as I said, like Facebook covers, loads of different things, posters, magazine covers, YouTube banners, that's what we're going to be focusing on. You can also customize your Instagram posts, so this looks really cool. There are just three little steps. One, you just choose your design, add your photos, and then you can just save it onto your computer or your desktop and then just upload it to where you want to upload it to, which is really cool. I've just had a quick look through this and it does look really easy to use and quite simple. So we're just gonna go straight onto YouTube banner here and get started on this. So we do come to this page here, which kind of shows you a little bit of what you can do. They do run a YouTube channel, so I'll link all their links down below in the description and of course the link to the website. But we're just gonna click on get started. These are the kind of ones like the templates that we can use. So if we just get started up here. Okay, so now we've opened it up. This is basically the page that we're greeted with. So we get loads of different templates on here. So a lot of these ones are free. Some of them, the ones here, if you see it's got a crown on it, you do have to sign up and you can get to use all the features. So you just got to, all you gotta do is put in your details and stuff. So that's pretty simple to do. For the purpose of this, I'm not gonna bother doing that because I've just got a couple of ideas of what I want to do. Then as you can see, lots of different kind of styles so if you want to you can put these together and you can add all the stuff in but I'll take you to it so as you can see you've got about six to seven different like slides you can go through and select different things it does get small as you go through this first slide here or you can select all you can get a blank page and just design it yourself um, or you can just use some of these templates so those are the templates you can use and then you can go into text you just basically have to add text you get lots of different samples here um, come up here clip art you can get loads of different cool emoji kind of style things and then backgrounds you can either get patterns or just block colors so that's basically what there is to this kind of main thing here so up here just taking you around you can like fill you can go back undo or go forward save it share it or print it you can add your own photo which you can either get off your computer or off your Facebook page. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take you through how to make a YouTube banner, then I'm going to put it onto our blog brother so you can kind of see how it all works. So the first thing you want to do is either choose a template. I'm going to go with this one here. So now I've clicked on Fox or Fox's Dance, this particular template. It just gives us this nice kind of text here which we can obviously adjust and type our own stuff in there so I don't want this background picture so all I have to do is click on it I think it's more of a template and I'm just gonna click delete because I don't need that now the text is still there as you can see you just can't see it because it's obviously white text on the white background so then I'm gonna come up here to add photo I'm gonna add it from the computer I've just been on to the internet and I found this cool photo so I'm just gonna add it in then all we have to do is just drag it and drop it which is really quite cool um, you might be wondering where's the text gone but I'll talk to you about that in a second so if I'm just gonna Basically, I'm just going to drag this to the size that I need to get it to. So yeah, once you've got it to the size you need, so that's a good size there, kind of line it up so this kind of horizon here the, is kind of center shot. Because if you imagine when it's on your YouTube banner, this bit here is going to be the main bit that you're going to be looking at. So the most interesting part you want to keep in the middle. So I think that's about right there. So yeah, it does give us like this little yellow line that tells us if we've lined it up correctly. So that's really nice. Okay, so now we've done that. Because the text is still here somewhere, but we can't actually see it, we're just going to come along to this little bar here. So click on layer, I'm going to send it to the back so we kind of know where it is. What I'm going to do now is I'm basically just going to change this, ti this title. I'm not going to do too much because I think this looks quite cool. Okay, so I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to change this. So this one will say blog. And then on this one, I'm going to change this to brothers. And then I think you can change this font size. So if you come in here, you've got lots of different fonts. I quite like this one, but I'm just going to take the font size down a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to put that back to 53 just to make my life a little bit easier. Make sure it all fits in nice. Maybe a little bit bigger. I don't know. That's, that's all right, I think. So we're going to put that there. What you want to do, keep in mind when you're doing this, is kind of line it up. So you see here, I've just kind of dropped it on the horizon line. You can zoom in. So you can kind of adjust it a little bit better, but it does snap to place, so that's pretty nice. I've just kind of snapped it here so we can kind of see that that's along the horizon line, which I think looks pretty cool. Down here, I'm just going to add in like a little slogan that we could use on our channel, adventure videos. 
and then down here it says photo jet actually I don't like that so I'm just gonna all you have to do if, if you don't like a text box just click on it make sure you selected it all and just click delete and then it's all done okay so I was wondering whether I could blur my background so I'm gonna see if I can do that here so see so we can go into effects okay so we can do some stuff here so these are more filters let's see if we've got advanced options okay so we can obviously change all this kind of stuff here I was hoping that I could get a blurred effect I can't which is a bit unfortunate that is one small problem I was hoping I could blur it but I can't which is a bit annoying but so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna save it to the computer so all you have to do is click save we're gonna call this one blog brothers one we're gonna have high quality because the best is the best so you see this ratio down here 2560 by 1440 this is the size that you need to do if you're going to make a YouTube panel, for example, if you're going to make it on Photoshop. If you do want an example of us showing you how to make it on Photoshop, just let us know and we'll make that for you. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it onto the desktop. Okay, yeah, so this is it here. It's saved onto the desktop for us. So that looks really nice. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go onto our channel, Blog Brothers channel, and I'm going to show you what it looks like when I add it onto the YouTube channel. Okay, so here we are on Blog Brothers. This is our current banner that we've got at the moment. I think it looks pretty cool, but I'm just going to change it up a bit. We can always change it back. So all you have to do is click on Edit Channel Art. You probably know how to do this if you've got a channel. Um, so yeah, these are the photos that we've used before. So if I do want to change it, I can just easily select one and change it back. So if we click on Upload Photos, select a file from your computer, and it takes you to the desktop, and you can click on the one. So this is just a photo, and then obviously this is the one we saved. Click Choose, and then it's going to upload it, and then it's obviously because it was 2560 by 1440, it's going to fit on here really nicely. And then we can, if we want, adjust the crop. But here, as I told you, the text on the website, that's really nice actually, the text on the website lines it up so it's dead center, which is really quite cool. And we get a little bit of our boardwalk on, and then obviously our thing lining up against the background. So I think that looks really quite cool. Um, obviously this is what it looks like on the TV, mobile, and then on the desktop. Select, and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so I think that looks really nice. So that's one thing you can kind of do if you wanted to do it like that on your YouTube channel. Really quite basic, but I think it does make it look kind of original and quite cool. Okay, because I don't want to make this video too long, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take you really like whistle-stop tour of all these kind of effects you can do. Just kind of show you around a bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another example that's a little bit more complicated and I'm just going to probably either time-lapse it or I'm just going to, actually I'll probably just show you the photo at the end of it and come back when I've done that. But first of all, what I'm going to do is a note to remember when you're on this website. First thing to remember is if you're going to use a template, use the template first. So you've got to add in the template. So for example, I'm going to use this one and then you want to add in your photo. So first of all, just click on your template. So I'm just going to use this one here. And what is really quite cool is instead of having to adjust the size that I did on the white background, you can just do this and just drag it and drop it onto the thing, onto the, always, the template that's already there and it will just adjust the size for you. Here's another example. We just drag and drop it into here. More kind of fun kind of style. I will be interested actually how this fits because the other one was quite thin. So let's just try this. So if I click save. Okay, so I'm just going to go back onto my YouTube page here. Okay, now we're back on our channel. I'm just going to see how this one work. So if we upload this one that we've just quickly just thrown together just a template okay so this is a slight problem some of these do not work in terms of their size I didn't notice that until now so some of these ones is not gonna fit nicely on here because as you can see it's gonna crop it out it will work really nicely on the TV but on mobile and desktop it's not gonna work so do keep that in mind when you're doing this the thin ones are probably gonna be the best have a bit of experimenting so I'm just gonna come back in a minute after I've made a more complicated one Okay, so what I've done is I've just gone onto the website and I've just designed two more. So this is the one that you've seen and I've just designed two more. All I did was go onto the internet, find a couple of photos. So for example, just find something like this or you can find this. I didn't use this one because it was really quite difficult to be able to see the text. Although I do kind of like the doodle effect, which is kind of quite cool. Um, so all I did is I made these. So if we open up the first one, this one you've already seen. Pretty cool. Second one, different kind of style, different template. This is just one kind of a brush thing, different background. Um, all I did, if you want to find this photo, I typed in HD Sky Landscape. Um, it is called Landscape Purple Sky. So if you want to find it, it's this. Take a screenshot and just look at that and type that in there. Um, and then the final one is this one. All it is, I know you're going to be like, well, that's just text on it. This is the main problem with this website. If you 
it the the great thing about it is it gives you the image in 2560 by 1440 which is what you need to make your youtube banner and then it'll put this in the center so you know when you crop it and you put it onto youtube it'll crop it perfectly so that's the main benefit of this website i would say it's really simple you can't do very complicated stuff so you can only just really write stuff on it and put like this cool templates on you can't do anything else like put some cool effects blurs you can't really do much all you can really do is just change a photo and put a couple of different, different templates on so if you do like this idea then it would be great to use the website but it is quite limited in what you can do okay so that is it for today's video we have taken you through photojet which is on the website you can the links and everything will be down below so you can just go straight to the website Benefits of this, it puts the image in 2560 by 1440, which is what you need to make a banner on YouTube. And you can get some more like different kind of effects and templates if you sign up. So you have to do tap in your email, make a password, make an account, all totally free and you get a couple more templates and stuff. You can do loads of different things. You can make collages and cover photos and everything like that. Biggest problem though I've got with this is you can't really make customize it so much like you can do on Photoshop. So this here on the computer here is just an example of what you can do just basically making a template, put the text on top of it, quickly save it and stick it up on your YouTube channel. Just kind of a, I would think this is more of a temporary kind of feel if you want to make something, but if you do want a more permanent, customized kind of thing, maybe we should make a video showing you how to make something on Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, there's a link down, or I will put a link to our video which we did on how to get Photoshop for free. It is legal. You're not going to get arrested or anything. So if you do want to get Photoshop, do it like that. If you want a video on how to make a YouTube banner on Photoshop, just post a comment or like the video and we'll do that as well. So if you did like the video, guys, please like and subscribe to this channel. We also have got another channel called Blog Brothers where we do vlogs and montage videos, etc. So if you do like that, head over there and subscribe over there as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Live long and prosper. Oh, 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 oh,